Greetings YouTube, it is the 4th of August 2022 <clears throat> and it's still pretty windy, weather's saying about 15 miles an hour. So what I'm going to do is, we'll do another experiment, I'm going to take the brake off. We'll sit here and watch it move first. Finally, only took about two minutes, but so that's running under no load at the moment. So yeah, that's running on un un under no load. And in here we have the AC from the wind turbine to the rectifier. The DC is going to a meter, ignore that, and then to the speed controller setup and then to quite a large dump load. Let me just disconnect a meter for a second. Sometimes th these do that. Uh, dim -dim screwdriver. Don't try this at home. It should blink on and off. What I need, <coughs> and this will be a job for the future, it's just a simple reset button here. So I'll just go click and then it resets it and I don't have to take the wire off. So at the minute what we've got is the turbine, you can see the voltage it's making there. And if we turn the dump load on and then put it on 20%. So what's happening is all the power that the turbine's making, it's sending to the dump load. And obviously we can adjust the power we send to it, but that has an effect on the speed the turbine's spinning. I'm just going to drop it down to zero momentarily and see if the voltage goes up. And just, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just a reminder, we're not using any batteries or any controller. It's the rectifier, the meter, the speed controller and the dump load. The wind's died down a bit, we'll just wait until it starts going over 30 volts. And then what I'll do is I'll turn the uh, speed controller up. There we go, so I'll put on 30%. And see the turbine's having to fight quite hard and it needs the momentum of high speed. I'm gonna turn it down to zero again. Now what I like about this system is, you could leave it on 50% and I don't think the turbine would have any possibility of overspeeding. Obviously if I turn the speed controller to full now, it's still making some in but it's going to grind to a halt. 20%. Now I have to put it back on zero for it to start spinning up properly again. Come on, let's have some decent wind. It's not as windy as yesterday. Here we go, so I put it on 20% now. Thirty percent. And then that's probably too much for it at this moment in time and the voltage will slowly drop down again. Yeah, I think you'd like that setup because it doesn't cost a lot of money. There's a rectifier is probably ten dollars if you if you're lucky. These are ten ten pounds. That's probably about ten pounds as well. And then you need a speed controller which is ten pounds, switch which is two pounds, and dump plates which you can probably scrounge off somebody. So I just want to show you that again and uh, give you a bit of a better explanation. So it's all good. Uh, got to make some more improvements. There's no wind tomorrow, so hopefully you can get this done. Get the new gym pole in. But overall very happy with it in the minute it's working really well and the higher the voltage the better it seems to work i don't know if i'd like to run it at 48 volts just because how much stress there would be on the motor uh, but we'll see but for now it's nice and sunny have a nice day